Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Marvelous Monday. We thank God for this is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it for all the wonderful things he's done. Just want to take a quick moment of personal privilege. Say happy birthday to my big brother, Joe L. Anderson, Sr. See, I was born on the 17th. He was born on the 18th. I told him happy birthday. I was his birthday gift. We thank God for him. We also thank God for Reverend Angie G. Payne as she celebrates her birthday on today. And lastly, I want to say happy 29th wedding anniversary to my lovely wife, Reverend Tina Morris Anderson. Dear, I thank God for you. I thank God for the life that we've lived together. I love you. And I thank God that he gives us a love that will always allow us to be rooted and grounded in him and in his word. Today, I invite you to look with me at 2 Corinthians, the third chapter, verses 4 through 11 from the New Living Translation. A powerful message that God reveals to all of us, his children, how God teaches us a very powerful message from 2 Corinthians, the third chapter, verses 4 through 11. It is here that we find out. We have confidence in this because our great trust is through Christ Jesus, our Lord. You know, all of us need to know that we can have confidence in what God is doing because our qualification comes from God. You know, too often times in this life, people walk as though that they're not confident about themselves and about what God has called them to do. But we can be confident knowing that God has given us a commandment. God has given us a covenant. God has given us life. And this is the glorious covenant of his New Testament. We find out in this passage, it reminds us that in the old days that they had laws that were sketched in stone that would lead to death. But we have a new law. We have the law of love. We have the law of spirit of life in Christ Jesus, who has set us free from the law of sin and death. Whenever we read this passage, it reminds us of all the glorious things that God is doing in us, with us and through us because he has made a new way. And that new covenant comes in knowing Christ as Lord and Savior. Whenever we accept Jesus Christ into our lives, it is then that he gives us overwhelming joy, overwhelming love. And he reminds us that he has replaced our old way with a new way. He has put joy deep down on the inside. The kind of joy that's unspeakable and full of glory. Today, may you and I embrace that love that comes through and by God. The work that he did with Jesus Christ at Calvary's cross, how he died. But not only did he die, but he was resurrected. That's why in this season of Lent, you and I can thank God for this new covenant, this new way that God has given us to live, that we can live a life that would be for the glory of God, that we can live a life to show the world that we have the glorious gospel of the good news of Jesus Christ living on the inside of us. And we love it so much so that we share it with everybody everywhere we go. Now, today, I want to remind you, take the Lord with you everywhere you go and share the good news of his love with everybody that you meet. Take the Lord with you and we will see you on tomorrow. God bless you and heaven smile upon you. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.